it's Meg and today I'm going to be talking to you about a book called Everything I Never Told You by Celeste N.G. Everything I Never Told You was Amazon's number one book of 2014. It is also Celeste's debut novel. Celeste N.G. has only published two novels, but she has published many short stories and essays. Celeste grew up in Pennsylvania and then later Ohio. She's a Harvard grad and she later did her MFA at the University of Michigan. So the book is Everything I Never Told You by Celeste N.G. I am not quite sure how to pronounce her surname. I don't know if it is N.G. or Nunga. It those are the only two letters. So if anyone does know, give me a shout. I'd love to know how to pronounce um, it. It is a literary thriller. I listened to it in audio form on my Audible app. Um, and it was narrated by Cassandra Campbell. I love not knowing what happened all the way up until the end. What I hated, I felt like the book was a little bit dragged out. And I also found it really predictable. I think my favourite part is when she reflects on the past, when James and Marilyn were younger and when they met. My first impression of the book, I thought the cover was quite interesting, um, but it did look scarier to me than what the book actually is. My initial reaction, I was hooked from the start, but I did lose interest in the middle. I basically kept on reading to find out what happened. I found this book had so many amazing quotes and so many great life lessons so it was really difficult for me to choose only one. So I've actually chosen three quotes to share with you guys today. The first one is, people decide what you like before they even get to know you. Isn't that true? Act as if you're already happy and that will tend to make you happy. And the last one is, the things that go unsaid are often the things that eat at you. Themes I found throughout this book were misery and self-worth. The character I liked most was definitely Marilyn. She's really real and even though she had so many flaws, she always had great intentions. Three words I would use to describe this book. Self-loathing, misery, miscommunication. Who do I see playing the roles in a novel? James, John Cho from American Beauty, Louisa, Kiko Regina from Gilmore Girls, Marilyn, Reese Witherspoon, Nathan, Kai Hong Lee from The Maze Runner, Lydia, Kristen Crick from Smallville, and Hannah, a younger version of Kristen Crick, very younger version, and Jack, Stephen R. McQueen, who is Jeremy from The Vampire Diaries. Did I know? Mm -hmm. Yes, I did know. It was really predictable for me. I wish I didn't know. I was hoping throughout that I was completely wrong because I just found that it was really predictable. How did I feel about the ending? I felt that the ending was um, quite an anti-climax. I felt that it needed to be more dramatic, but I guess that's not real life and um, sometimes real life isn't dramatic. So it was pretty real. If there's one thing this book does well, it is that it shows you how messed up normal people can be through their own actions and their own past issues. You would definitely like this book if you like books about real life, if you like books that aren't far-fetched, um, and if you like a little bit of mystery, maybe you wouldn't know, maybe you wouldn't predict it. My biggest takeaway from this book is that sometimes we make issues in our life bigger than what they really actually are. And that we should let our children be who they want to be, give them a chance in life to be what they want to be, and they might actually just surprise you. Last thoughts? This was a good book. Not amazing. Not one that I would say you have to read. But it was a book with many life lessons. Rating? Thumbs up. And I would give it a six and a half, maybe a seven out of ten. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this book review. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Comment down below if you've read the book and let me know what you thought. And don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you next time.